Now suddenly the anchor of your infield, the guy who's one of your best two-way players, Didi Gregorius, you're not sure if you're going to have him for the rest of the season. You're not sure if you're going to have him for the wild card game. This is a body blow for the Yankees, and they're hoping that he responds to that cortisone shot, and he will be able to play. But as Boone said right now, it's an uncertainty. That's best-case scenario. Worst-case scenario, if he can't play, take us through the thought process of who you'd put a shortstop. I think, again, as Boone said, it comes down to matchups, but I also think it's pretty simple. It's offense versus defense. If you're really looking for offense, it's going to be Neil Walker going to second base and you slide Torres from second to short. If defense is what you feel should be a premium, you leave Torres alone at second and you play Echeverria, who uh, general manager Brian Cashman has called a defensive wizard at shortstop. Also, they could go this route. Start Walker at second base, start Torres at shortstop. And if you get the lead after seven innings, you're moving Torres back to second base and you're bringing that defensive wizard, Echeverria, into shortstop. Not an ideal situation for the Yankees. They lost D.D. to a heel injury not too long ago, and they were so thrilled to get him back, and they now not, do not know when they will get him back from this injury. Yeah.